Coach Justin a minute ago talked about just last night, the whole team getting together for a meal and just how refreshing that was after everything you went through last year. Can you just talk about that experience and what today felt like as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think for everybody across college football, but especially us here at Cal, um, you know, the COVID really limited us from what we were able to do. And, um, you know, even down to the little things such as bonding and camaraderie with the team, we didn't get a lot of opportunities to um, build on that and, and develop that. So, you know, to be back in the, you know, the meeting rooms, to be back in the training room, um, you know, in the cafeteria together, being able to meet um, all the new faces and, um, you know, kind of just rekindling a lot of the relationships um, is it, a really awesome feeling. Um, you know, we were pretty segregated, like, by position groups last year just out on the field. So, um, you know, really just being able to integrate with everybody is an awesome feeling. And, you know, that's what the sport of football is all about. And, and that whole team dynamic is what we, we really live for. Any highlights of last night and everybody getting together? Um, I think one for me was just walking into the locker room and seeing a full locker room and, um, you know, was greeted by an interesting sight with the linemen. They all had crop top shirts on, so uh, <laughs> and they were sitting at my locker. So uh, I had to tell them to get on. But uh, no, I mean that that was definitely the highlight. Just walking in, and you can really feel the energy um, when you get in, and you know everybody's in there integrating, talking, building relationships. So it was an awesome feeling. What you guys went through last year with whatever team around the country did, did that change your perspective on, on this season at all? Just having gone through a year like that? Absolutely. Um, you know, I think just with the off-season workout, you really saw the difference. Um, you know, let alone being able to lift weights in an actual weight room. Uh, I think we've seen a big difference with that. Um, but I mean, really, I think it just makes all of us really appreciate you know, when we are able to have access to all of our resources. And you really get to see the difference that it does make um, when you have access to all those resources. So, I mean, it's, it's huge for us to have a you know, full off season, have access to everything that we need to be successful and uh, win a Pac-12 championship this year. Uh, Coach talked about the uh, energy of the first practice, but what I want to know is what's the trash talk like on the first day of practice time? <laughs> well, it, it's been... Uh, Mainly just in the locker room so far. Um, we haven't gotten to the one-on-ones yet or any of those competition-like um, drills. But I think you know once we get the pads on and we start running those one-on-one reps, and um, we're actually going to be making a receiver DB group chat, and uh, so it's going to get real, real competitive and fiery uh, over the next few days and in the course of the next few weeks. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Who are the best trash talkers in that group? Uh, Say DB's Chiggy wins gold for uh, for trash talking. He's got quite a mouth on him, so um, he he finds a way to trash talk everybody, um, even the guys who he isn't going against. He finds a way. Um, but him and Elijah, really the whole DB room, they uh, they all got uh, quite the personalities on them. So um, the receivers, I mean, about everybody talks trash, but I think. Um, you know, just the type of room that we have. We have a lot of guys who, um, you know, they really want to talk trash with how they play. So um, they'll be talk trash and, or trash talking, but um, I think you're going to see more of it on the field. You got a couple of freshman receivers, Anderson and Sturdivant. You haven't seen them on the field much, but just what do what you found out about them? What are, you know, what are they like, and what's your impression? Yeah, they're really developed for um, you know incoming freshmen. I think a lot more developed than I was when I first got in here. So, um, you know, just from the little bit that I have seen from them, I think they have a lot to offer for the program, and uh, Cal fans have a lot to look forward to with those two. In terms of personality and those kinds of things, do you have a sense of who they are? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that will show, begin to show over the course of um, fall camp. You know, they're incoming freshmen, so they're still trying to get used to everything before they really open up as. As, uh, as people, but um, you know, at least from what I've seen so far, um, they got their head down, they're hard workers, they're tapped in in the meeting, smart, smart kids. Um, so, I mean, I, I think just from a starting point, uh, they're headed in the right direction. It's really early with day one, but you guys didn't have a chance to run the Musgrave offense too much last spring and last fall, and you had limited personnel. How do you feel like the transition is going into this year? Yeah, it's, it's night and day. Um, we, 
we took a really conservative approach to uh, the offense last year. Like we did not even tap into half of what was in the playbook, and this year we dove headfirst in. Um, I, I think that's tribute to just the amount of older guys that we have on the team and in the offense, and um, we're able to really expand the offense. You know, the the nuance conversions. Um, you know, just Chase having a, a bit more authority back there on, on what he wants to run and. Um, I think just having a full off season of being able to rep the offense um, when we're away from the facility and, and being able to really grasp and hone in on those little details, I think has made a, a huge difference. And um, you know, today even we were able to do a lot of the conversions and, and, and different audibles that we weren't able to do last year. I, I, don't, I don't even know if we were able to do that by the middle of the season. So um, I think. Being able to have access to that and um, really had a lot of time to perfect and, and uh, develop that, I think it's huge for us so far. Middle of the season meeting after the two games, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What are some of your impressions of the, the summer workouts and were there any standout guys there? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think they were huge. I really like the program that Coach Johnson and his staff put together. Um, you know, I think every every strength and conditioning program puts a, puts together a workout that uh, will re really uh, develop strength and conditioning, obviously. But I think the difference with this staff is that they really hone in on the the corrective type stuff. So um, a lot of mobility stuff, like they will really uh, get with you individually and and hone in on little things like. If you have hip issues or shoulder issues, they will get with you after every single lift, after every single run that we have and try and do some corrective type stuff to um, fix that. And I think that translates when we uh, go out and, and when we play. So, I mean, I feel a big difference just being able to work through that with them and um, I think everybody else does too. Um, as far as who stood out. Like on field stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, really everybody was out there working. I wouldn't say it was one person in particular. Um, I mean, everybody had their head down and, and it was getting after it. So, um, you know, kudos just to the the uh, kudos just to the culture that we have as a team so far, and that our team continue to develop. But um, I think it really shows, and, and the young guys who just came in, they really fed into it and are, are becoming <coughs> becoming one. Is there something about this team's on-field identity that separates itself from years past, or is that still to be learned? I think we're still developing it. Um, but so far, just as a culture, this is the best culture that I've been a part of um, since my time here at Cal. Um, you know, I think we have a lot of leaders, and that's testament to there being, you know, however many super seniors we have and a lot of older guys on the team. Um, but the culture is really strong and it's really easy to integrate into. And, um, you know, we, we, we have something really good going. We have something really good going, and Cal fans have a lot to look forward to. I know it means something to all you guys, but those super seniors, do you get a sense to get the chance to do this again and be, be something special to them? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I think just having such a, a cluster of a season that we had last year. Um, you know, that we are really fiery as a team. And we're really hungry, and um, it showed in the off season. It's showing every single day that every one of these guys shows up. They, there's a mentality that everybody is holding on to, that, that memory of just, you know, the disaster of a season that we had last year. It's really, it's really stung the whole team. And I think to have a lot of super seniors who were there to experience that, we're really hungry this year. We're really hungry. How did you personally handle that season? Probably never yeah. played so few games in your life. Anyway. Never. Yeah, I mean that was <laughs> that was just it was a terrible time for everybody. But um, you know, especially here at Cal, they really limited us uh, for obvious reasons. But um, we were really limited in comparison to a lot of the teams that we played against and, and the rest of the country. So um, you know, it, it, it's tribute and testament to the team that we are to be able to still manage and 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 put together something, you know, kind of just on the fly, but, um, you know, it, it, it was a tough season, 
and, and it left a bad taste in everybody's mouths because nobody wants to go out there and, and put performances like we had last year. We were, we were legitimately better than I think every single team that we played against. You know, we beat the Pac-12 champion, so you know, it's, uh, it's tough, but you know, that, that, that's the kind of mentality that we're going off of and that you know, we're, we're feeding off of to go into this year with. Anything else? Okay. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.